This is how we recap. Okay, 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 fine. We'll handle it in post. I'm post. Yeah, that's your job. That's what you get paid for. I'm the talent. You're post. We are Ben and Rach, and we're spending our vacation time hiking 102 miles in nine days. We wanted to celebrate entering our 30s, and what better way than with a challenge? And oh boy, has it been a challenge. Blisters, sheep trying to eat our lunch, and sweating a whole lot. Come along as we hike the Cotswold Way. Good morning. It's, uh, it's day seven, believe it or not. We are just leaving our hotel, the Swan Hotel. Nice quick night, nice little town. Didn't do much exploring today, or last night. Did a little bit more relaxing, Ben watched his very first rugby game. <laughs> it was pretty fun. I figured it out enough uh, early on to know kind of what was going on. But I did do a lot of, why are they doing that? What's <laughs> going on here? Fortunately, there was some, he's actually South African, but he, he He's a local now. He's kind of explaining a few things to me here and there. He's a nice guy, so. We've got 13 miles today. It's our last long day. I guess you'd call it long. Speaking of sun, I forgot to put sunscreen on this morning. Good thing it's in your bag, right? Yeah, you are. Yeah, we're good. Day seven, here we go. It would appear our day starts with a pretty big climb up. But I was looking at the, the map this morning and it looks like this might be our biggest hill of the day. So I'm glad we can get it over with. First thing in the morning while it's not too, too hot. Ben's way, way ahead of me. He likes to take small steps up hills and I do big ones and then I'll take tiny breaks in between, for the most part, we meet up in the same spot. Okay, I can't talk anymore. Where are they? They're partridges. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole bunch of them. We're maybe two miles in. Whatever, we just went up a huge hill. We're hurting. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Nope, that's a long. My bad. <laughs> Maybe it's not a bird. It's not. About five miles in to our day, we walked through couple of nice covered stretches. So by the book, by the Trailblazer Guide, this says Watton under edge to Old Sodbury is 12 and a quarter. Mm. We were tracking to 13, or was it 13, five? No, it was just 13. Okay. So not too bad. Yeah. But the place we're stopping for lunch, I think was about eight hours in. Eight miles. Eight miles in, <laughs> thank you. Buford Arms, that's where it was recommended for us to Mm -hmm. Stop and eat lunch. Very much a village hub with plenty of real ales and scarcely a nod to the 21st century. Nice. You can you can see the views are still beautiful, but they're they're not as epic as they were at the start of the hike, which we hear a lot of. If you're if you go this way, you know, you end in the you end in a, a nice big town, but if you go the other way, you know, of course, you end with spectacular views. Yeah, I guess that's the kind of the decision we've been talking about this a lot is at the end of this, do you want to kind of celebrate completing this walk in like tiny, quiet village or in more of like kind of a, a bustling larger town? Now, Bath is not like by any means a big metropolitan area, but there is a lot more going on yeah. in Bath than there is in, in Chipping Camden. I don't know, I, I think I like the way we're doing it. I do too. Um, 
Maybe one day we'll do it the opposite way. Yeah, maybe one day. A lot of things to do, get and celebrate. And also the, the best spa. I mean, that's the, that's the thing to do there. And that sounds ideal for just having completed 102 miles on foot. We made it. Um, a kick butt eight miles we've just done. Lunch is gonna taste really good. Uh -huh. It sure is. <laughs> There is an amazing difference sitting down at a pub for an hour does to your body. I was barely making it into this town. Now, totally fine. I love it. I love, I feel like I could go 10 more miles. I'm not gonna, definitely only gonna go five, but getting back on the old Cotswold way. Yeah, I see people walk. That's really funny. So to get back to the path, because we, we, to find this pub, we went a little bit off. It told us we had to walk through this field, but there's a cricket match going on, so we have to go the long way around. Are there different, uh, I guess, different techniques? Oh, yeah. I'm going to test the battery. There's six balls in each over. The has six. But like, what's more like English than leaving a pub, stumbling on a cricket game, and then continuing on with your walk? Like, yeah, that was it was something else. And then tonight we're gonna go watch some rugby. Some rugby. We're getting oh. the full English experience today. We have, to have tea. We have to have tea. This today. is like a dream come true for me, being a big. <laughs> sports guy i was just saying to race i feel like the the best way to really like get to know a, a culture and people is you know you, you go to their bar you go to their pub you have a drink with them you talk to them and you understand their sports even better you watch their sports with them another really cool experience out here have a great day on the cotswold way there are no bad days day three was tough day three was tough Again, everyone we've talked to has reminded us that we have been, well, we've been <laughs> complaining about the heat this whole time. Everyone we've spoken to has reminded us that we've been incredibly lucky with the weather we've had. Yeah. Because normally, I guess this whole past summer, it's just been raining nonstop, just like torrential downpours. Anyway, helping to put things back into perspective for us. Just passed an interesting sign. Oh, is this the same one? Same one, yeah. We learned that this little village we're passing through, Little Sodbury, is one of three thankful villages, is what they call them, in here in uh, Gloucestershire. The only three villages here in Gloucestershire that had zero fatalities during World War I. As it said on the sign, the Great War of 1914 to 1918. Interesting little tidbit. If you pass through every, no matter how small, all of these villages we pass through has a monument to the lives lost in World War I. Every single church that we've seen has erected something with all of the names on it. Kind of goes to show how wide reaching that really was. In happier news, our day's almost done. But also sad. <laughs> Rachel is strangely taking delight in the fact that as of the end of yesterday, I officially have my first blister. He is a human. Yeah, it's on my pinky toe on my left foot. I think I'm getting another one on my right foot. Started to complain about it, but then Rachel reminded me she's had blisters since day one, so. Yeah, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but Rachel's saying 
Meanwhile, she has blisters on every one of her toes and bruises all over her butt. Blackberry. The bruises are because she slipped once on day, what was that, day two? Day three. Day three. But she's okay. She's a trooper. She's been dealing with a lot of pain, but she's gotten through it. Proud of her. I think this is what I'm going to miss. The views. How quiet and peaceful it is out here. Green grass, rolling fields, horses, sheep, cows. Hard to beat it. We have made it to our destination for the day. We're going to stop at the, uh, the Dog Inn first because I don't think our accommodations have food and drink, so. This is just next door. Looks pretty cute. Ready? Ready to walk. Here's to 13 miles down. Day seven, only two more days left. I can see the light, even though I'm kind of sad, but the light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Ooh. Cheers. Not bad. How many steps today? Oh, um, gotta be high 30s, maybe low 40s. Oh, I'd say high 30s, I'd say like 38. 38? 38. 38. 38.1. 38, one. 38 one. I like 39.2. Okay. Ooh. What? We're way off. What is it? 33.7. Oh. 33.784. How many miles? 13.6. Oh, okay. Which, we woke up. Where did we stay last night? <laughs> I forget. Oh, uh. uh Wood, Watton, under. Watton under edge, yeah. yeah. And it wasn't far at all off of the trail. No. So that makes sense that this place was directly off of yeah. the trail, so. But we did go off lunch for, or off trail for lunch. Oh, true, yeah, okay. Yeah, so that checks out. I'm disgusting. Yeah, you're gross. I'm so disgusting. Speaking of wardrobe, the weather report for tomorrow. What do we got? Well, it's a high of 79. Okay. We've got a 30% chance of rain. Ooh. A little bit in the morning, a little bit, but it seems like it'll like, just maybe a couple showers might come through and spit. Scary. Having that to deal with rain once. Yeah. But tomorrow's also only an eight and a half yeah. uh, mile day. That's nothing, that's like a rest day. Pretty much, I mean, walking? we had a seven mile and a nine mile day and we yeah. felt like amazing are, at the end of both of those days. Are we anything tomorrow? I'm gonna wear a dress and like, heels. Do you like our room? I love it. With the whole upstairs of this house, pretty much, she gave us an extra bedroom as a dressing room, which is fancy. And we have a bathtub, which I am going to need I was just butchering this pint over here but whatever things are good I feel like someone hit a reset button on my soul <laughs> just blank <laughs> just there's nothing going on tabula rasa but Rachel has to pee so bad she hasn't spoken in 15 minutes mistakes were made yeah, I should pee.